we're in uh, lockdown, like everybody else, I suppose, quarantine central. That's it. And Bandit is still recovering from his hip hop, so he's a good six weeks into recovery now, which means no riding. Um, another six weeks of wearing, easing his crutches and um, going out and putting half weight on it and things like that. So, yeah, long old recovery. I suppose if not so bad, everybody else is on lockdown. He's not missing out on too many things that way. No trail meets, anything like that. So, but I thought today I needed to get out and just have a, a stretch and, um, yeah, just get outdoors, really, isn't it? It's all good for everybody. So, yeah, I'm going to see what... I'm going to see... What do I see? Yeah, I don't know. It's a strange thing to say. But I'm going to head out. This is all, I don't know, like our backyard, really. Um, so I haven't travelled anywhere by car. I've just come out of our house, travelled and ridden a little way. Um, I'm going to start out from here and see where we go on the bee. We are so lucky where we live that we've got things like this right on our doorstep. We haven't got the excitement of Welsh mountainside. Um, like, yeah, if you went to Avon and Concarn and all that. But we're not too bad. It's not as gnar, for sure. But at least we can get out. Even if the legs are already burning. Reminder, I haven't been out for a while. Ooh. Some of the climbing done. Breezier up the top up here. That is, oh my, it's so nice to stretch your legs. Oh, I say, if you can find a way to get out and just spin the wheels, it is so worth it. Oh. Getting under. Oh, I'm good. It's like a playground. I'm not going to do anything daft. There's too many incidents out there. And there's a pretty big drop in people down. It's quite cool. I think I might have to find a wussy line. Just so I can roll in. What is that going on here? I don't know the line up there. This is someone's created quite a cool zigzag. do that but because I'm on my own you know you feel oddly cautious which is a bit of a bit of a downer really maybe I'll go down the bottom and have a look that was it doesn't look too bad down there but I'm not gonna drop in the mat I'm on my own it's in the woods first a road piece the logs. <laughs> Feeling super unfit. Not ridden properly for about six weeks now. Of course, Bandit's been off his bike. Went out a couple of times. Um, hiding my funky tramper. Just to allow him to be able to get round and not be totally bored not being able to get very far in crutches and being the funny things that it's amazing when you try them as a kid and somebody else has got them they are so cool and fun but when you've actually got to use them they suck <laughs> uh, 
here, so we can't go too far on them. So we hire these mobility trampers, which was a way to get out in the woods and, and join in. But, um, obviously, with everything on shutdown, we can't do that anymore. So that's kind of put pay to that little bit of uh, freedom he had. But obviously, they're limited to quite a obviously steady pace for safety. So it's been quite gentle when I have been out with them. Oh, it's been good, it's been nice to do something together. But today, riding solo. I have to confess, I haven't been on these bits of the wood. They're not that far from us, but I normally take another route. So it's quite fun to come on. See somewhere different. And the tree line between fields. Whoop! <laughs> Holy manoli! I was way steeper than I thought that first bit. Scare on myself. Like a bibber. Oh. <laughs> I walk past this, looks like bees. Should have cycled this. Flim flam. Oh, yeah. Beehives. I won't get too close because I don't want to get stung. Bee boxes. Pretty active, too, one of them. Oh, that middle one. Oh, I love honey. <laughs> yum yum. So this is one of the quieter little bridal way bits. Doesn't get used so much. In fact, most people go on the other side of the hedgerow and walk that way. It's fine by me. Quite happy on here, me on. Oh, never been more grateful for living out in the sticks. Um, I say bandits stuck stuck indoors. Managed to walk the dogs around the block. Well, which was a big improvement to what he's been able to do mostly of late, so that's great. But uh, yeah, I do feel from being stuck indoors. He's kind of been on a enforced quarantine of sort for six weeks, so he's ahead of the curve of everybody else in the UK. Not helped by the fact that I'm a keep worker, so that means I've been going out to work as well, so he's been on his own. I think in some ways he was hoping with the, the lockdown I wouldn't be going out so much, but uh, it's got to be done. Got to keep the wheels turning and things, so and share the load with my colleagues. Work from home when we can. And then, uh, yeah, if we all keep doing that, hopefully we'll get out of here soon and we'll be riding with buddies and that again. But in the meantime, sport for choice along here. There's a little route down along here. I think I'll jump in and take it because it's a bit. Last time we did it, it was super sketch. So, probably not too cool to do right now. Yeah. <laughs> it's a pretty solid set of roots down there. And probably GoPro flattening doesn't show how steep it is. So that's my steepness. 
And I'll pass on that one to Dave. Oh, more sad faces. Oh, rambles. Ah. <laughs> Nobody likes brambles. Oh, the gate. You've seen that across there before. That's new. <laughs> A Strawberry Hill Reservoir. That's it, end of the ride. I need to cycle back to home now. So it's me and the bee. We've been out together. She's been good. Um, and yeah, I need to get out some more because it's really, really, really nice to do this today. Not, not at all helped by the beautiful sunshine and the wonderful, look at that. All that to explore in the woodlands and over there as well. Um, it's just so nice. Oh yeah. See you soon, stay cool, and yeah, till we meet again. <laughs>